Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can pass information, how you can pass data into a model screen when you're creating it to customize it. So what I have right here is a is an application from a previous video where we just created a simple model screen and when I press M the model screen pops up and it just asks yes or no with a button for yes and a button for no. And now what I want to do is I want to change this model screen, I want to make it more general so that the user is able to ask any arbitrary yes or no question. So the question here is configurable. So how do I do this? Well, notice that you, when you push the screen, you instantiate the modal screen, right? The yes or no modal screen. And the modal screen, because it's a class that you defined here, this is a regular Python object. I mean, Textual does some things with it, but it's a regular Python object. So you can, when you instantiate the object, you can customize it. And so instead of assuming that the question will be always yes or no, you can say, well, when I instantiate the object, I want to specify a question. So for example, should we exit the application? Now, in order to make sure that this gets to the level here, what we need to do is obviously we need to define the init method of this model screen and accept the question parameter. So the question, we will save it for later. And also don't forget to call super the super init, otherwise you'll run into trouble. And now when I get to the compose, I can access self.question because I saved it. Uh, where's the, sorry, the paren, okay. So now I can access the self.question and I can use a custom question. Sorry, the word custom didn't, didn't come to my mind. I, on, I only thought of random question. No, we can use a custom question. So if I press M, now the question reads, should we exit instead of yes or no? And so this process of passing data in when you instantiate the screen is the easiest way to customize your screens and to pass in information from the application to the mobile screen. Now, if you want to know how to pass data from the mobile screen to the application, there is another video on that. So this was it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or ask them in our Discord server. And I'll leave links to the Discord server and to the documentation below so that you can check everything out because there's too much to learn. There's too much to fit into a single video. So yeah, that was it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.